Hey kids, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever the case may be for you. Hey, uh, you know the favor. Hit that subscribe and that like and that share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all notifications too if you would subscribe. Appreciate that. Hey, uh, I don't know if many of you know, but if you look through my videos, I can play. I can play. Been playing since, well, I think I got my first acoustic in 1977, I think. Yeah, so I've been playing a little while. Well, I, I, I watch this one bar band. I don't want to mention their name. south of Cadillac, Michigan. That's all I'll say. I don't even know if the guy's still alive. Hard to tell. Anyway, I, I was really impressed by him, you know, but I, I never... I'll tell you something about me. I'm supposed to wear glasses, and I... They're over there in the case, and that's where they collect dust. <laughs> So I, I can't see everything going on, so I really couldn't see what he was doing. I wasn't really interested. I didn't dance on the dance floor, so. Anyway, uh, my sister was interested in this lead guitarist, and he ended up showing up where I was living at the time. Uh, he started playing my guitar. Right there. He started playing my guitar, and uh, I started noticing that he could only do bar chords. I mean, you know. <laughs> That's all. He, he couldn't do none of this. And he was a lead player, and I just couldn't. Uh, it, it just confounded me how he got away with it. He it just... It kind of blew my mind because I kind of idolized the guy a little bit because I, you know, he was sharp looking and the ladies seemed to like it, you know. <sighs> yeah, but anyway, uh, he showed me stuff I'd learned like 10 years before that. And uh, I acted impressed and he got his ego boosted, you know. And then I explained my knowledge and yearning for a studio band. I wasn't looking to sit in the in the bars and and now I don't want to play that game. So uh, he kind of declined. And that's what a coked out alcoholic does, you know. And I showed him a multi. I showed him a multitude of chords that I could play, you know. And he just and we got to remember this was. Uh, It was before my ex-wife, so it had to have been the very late 80s, 89, 88, 89, right in there. I, I showed him my, he couldn't fingerboard or anything, you know, Van Halen had been out for at least 10 years, you know. I handed it back to him and he went right back to his bar cord ensemble <laughs> I call it <laughs> you know I'm not not the world's best I'm not the world's worst there are many that can show me up like that and I concede I'm man enough to do that you know but there are amateurs out there that can't compare all right guys just be careful who you idolize you just never know you may sit down and get a closer view of what they're really about and discover, well, well cocaine and that's just crazy. Uh, he was stuck. All right. I won't even tell you the name of the band. That'll be nice. All right, guys. Till our next one. Hope to see you then. Peace out.